We cannot expect that the Australian situation will improve rapidly due to the fact that global environment is poor. Philippe Boschetta, Natixis Asset Management. Alongside the ECB keeping interest rates on hold, Mario Draghi has not yet commented on if he will wind down the ECB's bond buying programme. So Philippe, was this to be expected and how much of an impact has this had on the euro and euro stocks? Well, it was expected. You know, we, we know now that uh, for the Federal Reserve or for the uh, ECB, uh, all decisions are uh, taking place when there, is, there are forecasts. So every uh, quarter, so it, it will probably, some announcement will probably be done in, uh, at the meeting in December, uh, like it will be probably for the Federal Reserve in, uh, in the U.S. But it has had a, a, an impact. What Mario Draghi said uh, it, he said two things. One is that probably uh, the, uh, we, we can expect that the uh, quantitative easing program will start in the, in the future. We don't know exactly when. Uh, it will be probably extended after March 20, uh, 2017, but we don't know exactly the, uh, how it will be done. And he said also that interest rates will stay low well before, uh, well after the, uh, the end of this uh, uh, purchasing p program. So uh, it has had a, uh, an impact on the, on the euro because the, the euro is at uh, 109 this morning. It shows that it reflects the, the fact that uh, uh, markets now uh, expect that the uh, ECB monetary policy will stay uh, accommodative a little longer. It's not a surprise, but it's just a confirmation that everyone has in, uh, has in mind. And uh, it didn't, as it didn't announce any uh, probability of tapering uh, rapidly, uh, it has not changed the trajectory of the euro in, on the upside. UK inflation beat expectations this week, rising sharply to 1%. Philippe, how should this data release be viewed? If the UK is heading towards high inflation due to a low Great British Pound, what are the future economic dangers of this? As we've seen everywhere uh, in, uh, in Eurozone in, uh, in the US, is that the uh, negative contribution of energy to, uh, in, to the inflation rate is now less negative. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, it's due to the fact that uh, the, the current oil price is comparable to what we saw one year ago. And, uh, but we saw also that uh, uh, probably there was, there was a uh, that was a consequence, this higher inflation rate was a consequence of uh, uh, a lower, weaker sterling. With this higher inflation rate, uh, we do not expect, due to uncertainty on the uh, economic conditions, that uh, uh, wages will increase uh, in, such a, uh, in, in the same uh, magnitude as uh, inflation. So probably... Uh, people will lose, will lose a part of their purchasing power, and uh, it will uh, uh, weaken uh, the uh, internal demand. And so it's uh, something we, we have to keep in mind. This lower uh, sterling will create higher inflation rate, um, probably at 3%, maybe a little higher, and uh, it will uh, uh, weaken uh, the situation of uh, uh, UK household because they will lose purchasing power. And in this environment, the uh, uh, monetary policy will be important. And for the moment, the Bank of England doesn't want to, to change it. The Australian dollar has also suffered this week on the back of Australian job data falling below expectations. How expected is further monetary easing from the Reserve Bank of Australia on the back of this? We saw some uh, data on uh, economic activity like the uh, uh, PMI market index, uh, which is now uh, uh, a little lower and showing that the uh, economic situation is uh, uh, weaker in, uh, in Australia. Uh, probably with the probability of uh, lower interest rates from the uh, RBA uh, is creeping higher now uh, than it was before those data on, uh, on, the, on the labor market. So probably uh, we, we can expect uh, uh, higher uh, or lower uh, interest rates. Um, maybe at this meeting, maybe at the meeting after, but uh, the trend is probably this way uh, because we cannot expect that the, uh, uh, the Australian situation will, uh, uh, will improve rapidly due to the fact that the uh, uh, 
uh, global environment is poor, is still poor, and uh, we know that uh, the Australian economy is very much conditioned by uh, by this uh, global environment. So probably uh, we we can expect that the uh, uh, we, we can expect a lower interest rates uh, in October or maybe later uh, in November or maybe later in the uh, in the, in this year. Well, Philippe, thank you for your insights. That's all from me for this week's Market Moves, but be sure to check back on Monday for a look ahead at the future economic news. Goodbye.